Today's webinar is going to be about uh, selecting the right microscope for your um, age group or grade level. Uh, what we're going to do is go through the different types of microscopes and also um, after selection we'll go through a few cleaning tips and adjustment tips in case you have microscopes now that um, aren't working properly and maybe uh, you know with a few tips I can show you how to clean them and adjust them to get them working again in your classroom. Okay so the second half was just um, to go through a, a couple cleaning tips and uh, common problems that you might be having with your microscope. I will tell you before we get started that um, we do have a cleaning and troubleshooting um, webinar on our YouTube page and uh, that'll come up on the screen for you. It's a one hour video and it walks you through taking your microscope apart, cleaning all the lenses and uh, making adjustments. But a couple of the most common ones we'll run through here because you know you might not want to look at an hour long video. <laughs> so the first problem you might run into is your field of view is not complete. Meaning that you're looking through your microscope and there's like a half moon or um, you can't see your whole image. The first and most obvious thing to check is if you have a disc diaphragm on your microscope, which I think this one does. Yeah. So the disc diaphragm is the series of holes on a wheel that you just turn. Turn that and, and make sure that it's clicked into, a, into the hole in the right spot. Sometimes if you have it halfway between one and the other, you'll get that half moon. That's the simplest thing to look for. And then the next thing that you might look for is when you click your objectives into place, behind your nose piece, there's gonna be a little click stop. Sometimes that'll get off center. So what you wanna do is while you're looking through your microscope, if you have that little half moon, kinda wiggle your objective out of the groove a little back and forth until it and see if you get a full field of view. If you notice you get a full field of view and it's not clicked into the spot where it needs to be, that little tab can be moved over to the left or right to line it up. So those are the two, two things that normally will obstruct your field of view. Um, if you run into the issue where one or more of your objectives will not focus, Okay, that's good. Uh, one or more objectives will not focus. The first thing to do is just check them all and make sure they're screwed in tight. Another thing that might affect that is your eyepiece. I had showed you earlier that it unscrews. If it's not screwed completely together, it messes with the distance between the eyepiece and the end of the objective and that will cause you to have trouble focusing. So make sure your eyepiece is screwed completely together and make sure all your objectives are screwed in place. But more commonly than that, it is the stage stop is not um, set correctly on your microscope. So behind your stage, there's gonna be a little screw and it's either going to be a thumb screw or an Allen screw. These ones have Allen screws, so they're kind of hard to see. I can see it here a little better. It's an Allen screw, and uh, what it does is it controls how high up your stage will go so that you don't smash your um, slide on the higher power objectives. So if you're trying to focus and it seems like your scope just needs to come up a little more, your stage... What you would do is you would back that screw out one turn at a time while you're focusing on 4X. And you would just, like I said, one turn at a time, try to focus. If it's not coming in, do it another turn. Once it focuses on 4X, it should be set for the whole microscope. Check it on 10 and 40. Make sure it doesn't hit the slide when you're all the way up and it should be good. So that's all you need to do is just back out that screw behind the stage. Um, 
I also have, um, I mentioned the video, but we have a um, cleaning and troubleshooting guide that if anybody is interested in that, our science help people can send that to you. And it has all the troubleshooting and the steps to fix it and cleaning um, cleaning tips and stuff like that. So it's, it's about a 20 page booklet and it really tells you just about everything you need to know about making your adjustments. Um, if your course focus won't move, a lot of times you'll go to move your focus, your stage, and it's just stuck. There is a tension collar. I know you can't really see it well here, but on your course focus, on one side of the rod, there's going to be a little collar on there. And it's a tension ring. And what that does is controls how smooth, how um, hard or easy it is to move the stage up and down. You should have, with most microscopes, there's what's called a um, C-wrench. And it's just a little wrench that has a hook in it. You would hook that point into one of the holes in the tension collar. And what that'll do is either loosen or tighten it. So one way will tighten, one way will loosen. So if your stage won't move, you want to, you know, use your little wrench and turn that ring until it moves freely and then start moving your course focus and then you know one way will loosen one way will tighten and all you have to do is get it till it feels easy to move but it doesn't slide right down um, if you don't have this wrench you can use something like a, a just a pointed object to get that loosened up and start moving it so if it's too tight you're definitely going to need a tool to get it to loosen up but if it's not tight so it won't move at all. It moves a little bit. Sometimes you can just get in there and finger tighten or loosen that. But that tension collar on the side of the course focus knob is, gonna, is what's going to control moving up and down this stage. And that's the same if the image drifts out, you want to tighten it. It's not um, one way to tighten, one way to loosen. It's different on different microscopes. So you're just gonna have to you know, try it to see if it's backwards or forwards for tightening and loosening. So those are the, the most two, three most common things that are wrong with the microscope. Um, if you have other things that are wrong that you need to know about, you can ask now or you can, my information will be up at the end. You can call or email me and I can help you make any other adjustments you might have. Um, some basic rules for care. Uh, dust is like the number one enemy of a microscope. So whenever you're not using it, you're going to want to keep it covered. Uh, most come with a dust cover, but if not, I've used um, Ziploc bags. Just put a big bag over it. Keep it covered. Keep the dust off. Uh, your objectives, they should be cleaned off um, maybe once a month. It could be even every couple of months, depending on how much you use them. If you're just using prepared slides and there's no dyes and no stains, I mean, what you can do is just, you know, make it like once a month, you put a little lens cleaner on a piece of lens uh, tissue paper and just leave them on the microscope, wipe, you know, run through it, wipe them off. Kind of wipe your eyepiece off, put the cover on it, and put them away. Um, it's the important thing about cleaning your lenses, be it the eyepiece or the objectives, is you only want to use lens paper because it's 100% grit free, and you want to use a lens cleaning solution. You can use a 50% dilute Windex solution, um, but definitely only use the lens paper because Kim wipes, they're like 80% grit free, but if you're washing your eyepiece and you scratch it, it's scratched for good. So um, the only option then there is to replace the eyepiece. So you wanna make sure you always use lens paper, lens cleaner, and uh, or 50% dilute Windex. For the body of the microscope, it's mostly metal or plastic pieces. 
So you can use anything. Um, you can use soap, you can use a washcloth, you can use Kim wipes, you can use paper towels. Uh, you can use citrus cleaner when you have ink or glue to get off. The important thing to remember is start at the top, wipe it down. And if you're using anything but lens paper and lens cleaner, just avoid any lenses, including your condenser lens. So you just would start, wipe it off. You can do all the scrubbing you need to. Um, you're really not going to hurt the outside of the microscope at all. Just make sure you avoid any glass parts with anything but the lens cleaner.